Hey, what's going on guys? It's Delvidge and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a watermark. Now this is something that a lot of you guys have requested in the comment section and I'm not going to be going over how to make an animated watermark today, but I'm going to be going over something that's super simple and easy for everyone watching this video to do because making something animated is going to require a lot more time and a lot more experience in certain programs. While doing what I'm going to teach you here today will accomplish the same thing, which is to get your brand across to viewers, but it's still fairly simple to pull off. So when you first open Photoshop, you're going to want to go to File and New, or alternatively, if you have the recent version of CC, you can just click New right here. And this is where you choose the dimensions for your video. If you record videos in 1080p, make sure you're using a 1080p template. If you record videos in 720p, 720p, 4K, you get the point. Whatever you actually record your videos on, that's what you're going to want to set the template to. For me personally, I record my videos in 1080p, so I'm just going to create this 1080p template here and you can copy these settings if you don't have them already but I'm just going to click create here at the bottom I'm gonna zoom out a bit and here is where you choose a background now if you really want to you can move the watermark that we're about to make in your video editing software but personally I just find it easier to put it in a specific location depending on the type of game you're playing or if you're just recording straight from your PC it should be fairly simple to figure that out but if you don't know what I'm talking about I'm talking about picking a background to put in the back so we can get some type of reference for our watermark so I'm gonna go online I'm gonna go on Google Chrome and find a background that fits my needs Okay guys, so I found a background off Google Chrome and I'm just gonna press Ctrl and V to paste it here. It is a Player Unknown's Battlegrounds wallpaper, a 1080p wallpaper. You wanna make sure that whatever background you choose fits the dimensions for your template. Real quick, I'm just going to delete the background because we don't need it and I'm just going to add a few subtle effects to the background just to make it easier to look at so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've added some adjustments and now the next step is to create a new layer by selecting the new layer button here at the bottom of Photoshop. Go to the text tool and now you can choose the font that you want your watermark in. So personally, I'm just going to choose Cartoonist here at the top. I will leave a link in the description of this YouTube video to download the same font that I'm using, but you can use whatever font you think looks good, but I'm going to use Cartoonist for this purpose. So I'm just going to click on screen to create a text dialogue. And from there, I'm just going to type in my channel name, which is Delvage. Very simple. I click the check mark here at the very top. I'm going to press Control and T on my keyboard to resize, holding Shift and Alt. I'm going to drag from the corners to make it bigger so that we can see what we're working with. And then over here in the layer panel, I'm going to double click on the layer. Now in the layer styles panel, we're going to do a few things. The very first thing we're gonna do is add a black stroke to the outside. And when you're doing this, make sure you don't put it up too high because even if the bigger stroke does look good, I'll show you what happens when we resize it down it starts to look a little bit too much. Make sure that you are adjusting the stroke appropriately for when you actually do resize it back down to what you want. But for right now, I'm gonna leave it at eight and I'm gonna probably change that once we resize it, but we wanna get the general layout of how it's going to look. After that, I'm going to add a gradient overlay and here is where you can really play around with it. If your channel color is blue, choose blue. If it's red, choose red. My personal channel color is like this orange black. So I'm gonna use this one right here because I think it stands out. I'm gonna click okay and I'm gonna add some inner glow just to add a bit more effect. You can copy these settings here if you don't have them default. Maybe some bevel and I can play around with that a little bit by zooming in so we can really see how the bevel is going to take shape. Okay, so we have the watermark basically done with all the effects. I'm gonna press Ctrl and T to resize it and again holding Shift and Alt going from the corners, I'm gonna drag inwards. I'm gonna place it in a certain location on the screen. Now this is where I told you guys to pick a game or a wallpaper that you're going to be using the watermark on because you see, if we move it to the very top right, it's blocking key information for that game. If we move it to the bottom, same thing. Bottom left is okay and top left is okay, but that is this game specifically. If you're playing a different game, other features might be in a certain area that you don't want to put the watermark in, so make sure you're paying attention to that. Okay, so I think I'm going to put the watermark in the top left-hand corner of the screen. So I'm gonna just resize it and just kind of put it where I want. And I might tone down some of the effects like I mentioned before, since it is a bit smaller and harder to see. When you finish editing up all the effects, you can change the opacity to around 90% just so it's slightly transparent. If you don't like the look of transparency, you can always put it all the way back up to 100, but I like a little bit of transparency with a watermark. Um, but yeah, there you have it, guys. That's basically how you do it. It's really simple. And again, you can resize it however you want. If you want to make it smaller, you can make it smaller. 
If you want to rotate it, you can always rotate it a little bit on the top left hand corner or put it wherever you want. A watermark is really nice to help brand your YouTube channel or whatever service you plan on distributing to people out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a like rating and tell me some more tutorials in the comment section below. If you guys want to see a animated watermark tutorial, I might be able to get that to you guys, but this new PC is supposed to be coming in about two days. So I might have a little bit of issues getting all that stuff on real quick for another video. Uh, but in the future, the distant future, I could probably bring that to you guys. Good luck designing. Good luck making your watermarks. My name's Delvage and I'm out. Peace.